Valsh. I talked about Valsh last stream. I mentioned that he made a little oopsie doodle. He showed the horse lollicon tax folder. And this caused uh, a great amount of controversy. Is Valsh a pedo bestiality? Does he want to be the horse or does he want to be the child a la Digibro? Uh, Valsh has come out with his own statement to explain. He does not bow at the camera before and he doesn't speak in broken English, but he does speak in communist, which is just as bad. Let's hear his explanation. Anyway, one of the two images uh, just flatly didn't look like Lolly. I don't give a shit. Uh, 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 like cope diamond i just don't care like disingenuous shit you know the other one um is like a threesome with two chicks and a guy and in retrospect looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lollicon yeah i can see it when i looked at it i think the vibe that i got was like short stack thick kind of thing you know what i mean uh, like the way uh, like goblins get drawn in porn. You'll, you'll have to entertain me for a moment on this presumed shared knowledge of how goblins get drawn in pornography. But you know how they're all like thick short stacks, right? That was the vibe that I got because in the image, the girl that's shown has super thick legs and has like tits and a belly. So that's just the vibe I got. But now knowing that the artist is a lollicon, which I have been roundly reminded of, obviously knowing that it was intended to be a lolly drawing so like that's how it is right it's a drawing you get it without context i know that when i save them i save them because both the drawings have like a meaty dick in it and i'm a huge size queen so like you 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 look at it in retrospect and it's like okay well now with the broader context i can understand how it comes off that way um even if initially or like at first glance the vibe would be more thick short stack because of the Lennon roleplay, I always like to imagine the things that he says are said by Vladimir Lennon. And you know those like A to Z quotes where it has like a black and white picture of the person and then it has like the, like the quote in like a nice cursive font. And I'm just imagining Vladimir Lennon, 1923. I saved those pictures because they had a meaty big dick in it and I'm a huge size queen, end quote. Vladimir Lenin before the invasion of Poland. Like, there is no way that this guy is going to lead anything. He'd be lucky if they let him in a DMV at this point. How the fuck do people watch this guy and give him money? Like, what a what a fucking joke. Anyways, the rest of the VTuber or <laughs> the VTubers, <laughs> the rest of the bread tubers uh, responded uh, with this message. I don't want to see him kissing goblins, ingratiating goblins, in bed with a goblin. I don't want to see him kissing goblins, succubus with goblins, ingratiating goblins, in bed with a goblin. I don't want to see him kissing goblins, goblins, ingratiating goblins, in bed with a goblin. I don't want to see him kissing goblins, ingratiating goblins, in bed with a goblin. Dump it. Dump charging it. into it. It's a good song. Anyways, um, yeah, they were not happy about it. He's been eating shit from everyone. He acknowledged that his statement was a bad idea. He says, and failed attempts at engagement just make me look defensive, really. I really doubt that's a viable avenue of engagement. If I reach out if I could, people really, really do hate me. I don't fault him for covering drama, but doing this gigantic generic smear piece without reaching out or talking beforehand feels at least a little shitty of him. I've generally been pretty fair to Ethan, I think. My Ill illustrious first appearance on the H3 pod, if he wanted me on to defend myself, he probably would have asked. This is in reverse order, so I read that wrong. Um, H3, H3, Ethan Klein, uh, the king of Israel, um, has roundly derided Valish on his podcast. We will listen to just a little bit of this. I have a sacrifice. Um, so he dressed up as a horse in this? Where is it? He was dressed up as the horse from Gumby, which is actually pretty fucking base. I'm going to be real with you. Gumby was awesome. Um, and she's dressed up like a cowgirl or something, and they make fun of us. ...themselves mm -hmm. to Lolly Hill, which we'll get into. Do not lose faith, my friends. What you are hearing is merely the death rattle of a community on life support. Continual posts on our subreddit from, from supposed fans and defenders of Vosh, of which, again, there are many, 
which is what prompted me to even get get so passionate about all this. Mm -hmm. What you are hearing is the death rattle of a community on life support. There is no longer shade for Vosh and his supporters to hide under. No, mm -hmm. today the truth will be laid bare to bathe in the light of truth and justice. Let us flood this dark corner of the internet with a blinding light. Let the rats and cockroaches scurry. Rats. And, and again, rats. not to say anything about rats and cockroaches in terms of like, oh, that, that I'm just saying that's, <laughs> they, they live in the sewer. That's he's, he's trying to appropriate like a World War II speech and make it about Vouch and he has to apologize for some of the, the language used. No, I, I'm not using the term rats or cockroaches as like an ethnic slur. I promise, I promise. That's funny. Um, so he declared war on Vouch, basically. And then, extra funnily, as a response to uh, Ethan Klein making fun of Vouch, um, I, I guess I'll talk about this. Uh, Burning Fan, I put this together. So it's the pack is like four hours long, and it's all about Vouch, basically. Um, Vouch put out this statement. There will be no debate. All this has been discussed before at length. I've talked to Ethan and DMs, and he came across as insanely snakish. Yeah, no shit. Like a cartoon. Oh, no. We know what Vouch thinks about cartoons. Literally, any direct engagement with him or anyone else right now will be interpreted disingenuously, like I'm digging myself in deeper no matter what I say. The streams will continue. The politics will continue. And like every other wave of disingenuous drama, the truth will be apparent to people who chill out a second and consume literally any of my content. Um, this comment in particular was very funny. This is in the Vouch subreddit. Really disappointing to see H3H3 acting like liberal Kiwi farms. I know I'm a little late to this topic, but it's super disappointing to Ethan be so bad faith when he's about as disingenuous as Steven Crowder. By the way, all the H3 has been putting out all these comments, making fun of Vouch and, um, he's been doing it on Instagram. So he's putting out like these Instagram stories that are like 20 messages long and they're just screen caps of like tweets in a response written on top because he refuses to use Twitter because he says it's like an anti-Semitic haven. I think a lot of people just made fun of him and called him a Jew too many times. I, can't, I talked about it on my podcast. I, I can't remember what it was. There was an inciting incident where like people made too many Jew jokes at Ethan Klein's expense after the Hamas attack. So he just like deleted all of his tweets and then moved to Instagram. And now he's basically just using it like Twitter. <laughs> um, however, coming to the aid of Vouch, ready to, ready to embrace their new identity as a um, true crime channel. Uh, Caffles responds saying, I'm disappointed in H3 Protections. You had me on your show and called me a hero for fighting against a far right stalking forum that made multiple people kill themselves. Now you're using old out of context clips sourced from the same website to attack people. Do better, Ethan. So Caffles and Tipster, the dream team, came together to defend Bausch. Um, Keemstar is the litmus test for whether you are correct. If Keemstar agrees with you, you're objectively incorrect and need to reevaluate your position in general. All right, do I, okay, refresh my memory. What was Keemstar's take during Drop Kiwi Farms? I distinctly remember him supporting Keffels. Am I wrong about this? Do I just assume the worst of Keffels at all times? Who is Tipster? <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> nice try. He said your eyes were too far apart. Now that is a declaration of war. That's defamation. I'm talking to my lawyer. My eyes are the are normal uh, distance apart. Oh, he got broken by the... <laughs> okay, so here, let me remind everybody. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not a joke. So... Uh, H3H3 was enjoying Twitter, as he does. However... After the Hamas attack, uh, he was shown this clip about eight million times, six million times to be precise, um, which caused him to delete all of his tweets and leave Twitter forever. You may have never seen this clip before. It's a little bit obscure. It's by uh, Sven Stoff. It's called Kill Client IDF Stop. They actually did, as a consequence of. Uh, 
no, I don't want to show. I don't want to. No, I just want to see this clip. Oh my, it changed my history, so I can't. Fuck you. I do YouTube short. I'm gonna have an aneurysm. I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm. I was in my zone. I was watching the Helicline IDFs thing. I accidentally scrolled down just a little bit, and then I was on some kind of bunny weird cartoon thing, and my entire day is ruined. I'm so pissed. Anyways, he saw that and he uh, had a tism meltdown and left Twitter forever. So Tipster comes to the aid of of um, Queen Cafals and Vouch. Wrong. Filating a horse. Now look at this guy. I want you to imagine. Uh, let me hide my screen to make this fair. Im imagine in your in your mind's eye once again. Close your eyes and recede into the darkness of your own skull. And fabricate images based solely off these words. Sexy. Hero. Masculine. Strong. And then what you see in your head probably exactly lines up with this picture of Tipster. His webcam on the top left. I don't think that there's a better portrayal of the Greek concept of masculinity than, than Tipster. I can't. Okay, because it's blurred, the clearer version. But she's doing that to someone. I can't comment on the nature of the images because I didn't look at them myself. I mean, because you're talking about people who are saying that, you know, allegedly these images are lollicon. So I, I, I don't want to fucking see them. So I haven't looked at them. I can't really comment on their appearance. All I know is that allegedly one or two of the images is lolly. And Vosh's response to that was, I didn't know it was lolly when I downloaded it. And I disavow it now that I know that it is. It's... It's really not, I don't know. That defense works in court, by the way. Uh, it happens all the time. You know, they bring some, they bring some fucking chomo in on charges and he just says, oh, I thought they were 18. And they're like, ah, fuck. I thought they were 18 defense, man. The, every time, every time. And then they have to just let him go and let him walk. No point even prosecuting that shit. Don't even book him. He, he brought it up. I can't tell if it's a, a hairy man or a horse. Okay. <laughs> I mean, bro, that's enough. That to me is enough. I can't lie. But let's move on because that's not this is it only gets better from here. So this led people to compiling questionable clips from Bosch's past. Apparently he has a colorful history of saying really was Tips you're playing the same game from a year ago. It's literally one of my favorite games. I played this oh, game so much. Whole clip, I you know think. So Tips uh, um then there was even a, a video where Vouch and not Vouch, Tipster and Keffels were streaming together. Dude Tipster might get it in at this point. Keffels' Kefels, pool of options is getting smaller and smaller all the time. I think he, I think he stands a real chance. Everyone says, bro, bro, he won't have sex with you. But I think now at this point, there's a good chance. Um, then there's this. I don't know what this is, but I, I queued it up for some reason. This is by Jalen Live. It has 2,000 views. So this is the most irrelevant tranny shit on the fucking internet. Dream segment scene. coming out of... Oh, hell yeah. Look, if there, was a, if there was a textbook image for person whose opinion I give a fuck about, that's it. That's it right there. The weird video game shit, everything in bisexual lighting, uh, the fat tranny... The the upside down progress flag. I don't know why it's upside. You, I mean, it's specifically made so it's a banner so that you can hang it by the 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 tr uh, triangle at the top. But for whatever reason, he's completely foregone typical flag etiquette and has hanged this fucker upside down in the middle of his room for no reason. And the Nirvana thing, because remember, uh, Kurt Cobain was a tranny and he killed himself because he was a tranny. Uh, so let's listen to what this wonderful person is saying. I'm sure this is an 8 million IQ take. Let's hear. About that soon. But from the looks of it, it seems most likely that Vosh accidentally downloaded that image <laughs> and had no idea that it was Lollicon. There was only one image within that folder that, that looked like it could have been Lollicon. Every other image, all the anime girls in there, they all look to be of age. And it can be hard to tell depending on the... What about the horse fucking the little girl? Are we just, is that just okay now? As Have we as a society accepted horse fucking little girls as like normal? Like, oh, the cartoon, the little cartoon girl, she's a 5,000 year old demon. Um, and the horse, I mean, it's just a horse. The horses can fuck, horses can consent. So we're just gonna ignore the horse. Like what, are, are you fucking insane? 
art style in, in the way certain artists draw these characters. And what was regarded as a kind of funny moment by most of Vosh's community when they saw that folder has spiraled in, in into something that it really isn't with people like Keemstar claiming that Vosh is a basically and Ethan Klein did this hit piece stream where he basically brought up a bunch of old Vosh clips out of context apparently he has a colorful history of saying really bizarre creepy weird shit the argument that I was making and I've made this argument a bunch of times and I've addressed this poorly made argument a bunch of times here why is the possession of child immoral people are inconsistent in their moral outrage at commodities I just say this is me commenting on a tranny, commenting on Ethan Klein, commenting on Vouch, saying that he's okay with people possessing child pornography. Which hurt people when they're produced. So people will laugh off cocoa butter or chocolate or, um, you know, or, or cobalt or other, you know, products that we tend to get through a really, really unethical system, but then they're really, really quick to deny. Well, we have a, we do as what? a, we do have a special place in our heart for child. Is seriously trying to make a, a says, legitimate... You eat you eat what? chocolate, but you don't, but you, you dare to care about child and you eat chocolate. It's not worth putting your neck out for that one, brother. <laughs> like, let's keep that one locked up in the chamber. We don't need to give pedos any green lights. Now, these clips have circulated the internet for many years. And personally, when I was outside of Vosh's community, when I had saw those videos, I had a pretty negative opinion of Vosh because, wow, I mean, here this guy is defending CP. Who does that? However, I, I've learned that these clips have all been taken out of context. Oh, thank God. The tranny is going to give us context, chat. I can't wait to see what the context is. These were from tranny. debates Proceed. where Vosh was basically trying to debate that child labor is, is bad. A lot of the stuff in these clips actually does sound really bad. I'm not going to pretend otherwise because like it, it does, right? So the, the question is, what can I do with that? And the only thing I can really do is go like, okay, well, here's the explanation. You can choose to believe it or not. But right after I started streaming, okay, I came up with a hot take, all right? I came from Destiny's community. I love hot takes. I'm all about hot takes, um, which is that, thought, guys, Steven. did you know that child slavery is bad? So an argument that I had made is that if you buy, say, fast fashion, which I'm currently wearing, by the way, um, you are participating in the uh, an economic incentive. You are bolstering the economy, the supply line, which involves the abuse of children. And my argument was that in a lot of ways, that's not very different from buying child pornography, because in both cases, you are paying money into a system where as a product of whatever, you know, product you've received, children get hurt. Now, I'll... I, I want to say that take is unfathomably stupid because when, a ch okay, l let's assume for the sake of argument that chocolate, every, every ounce of chocolate, even that fair trade shit you buy at Starbucks is unethically sourced from child, child labor. A child is paid when they labor. It may not be very much, but they are compensated fairly and they're not doing anything humiliating. They're picking cocoa pods off a tree and they're taking a knife and they're hacking them up and putting them in the fermentation piles that's how it gets made um it's not unethical i mean you can say that child would be better off in a school seeking education but it's not rape you know what i mean it's not child rape it's um just a kid whose childhood is being spent working for money that he needs as opposed to uh, enjoying childhood like kids in the West get to. And there's an argument that that's a bad thing, but it's not rape. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, maybe that's a, that's a retard capitalist excuse, but I've seen how chocolate's made and it's like, it's labor. It's a, it looks like a huge pain in the ass. I wouldn't want to do it. I'm glad that I get chocolate for next to nothing, <laughs> right? But it's not the same as rape, but I don't know. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to listen to this fucking trainee retard talk anymore. That's the, that's the, the gist of it. Is that, uh, thou sh I don't even know. I can't even really, I'm not sure why H3 has decided to go after Voosh and Tipster and Keffels. Is it that he's off Twitter? And he's now less retarded. He's now like thinking clearly, but wait a second. These people are fucking retards and they're disgusting and I hate them. I'm going to make fun of them on my podcast where I can say whatever I want.
Is that like, is that literally what's happened? He's just, now that he's no longer getting a constant 24 seven stream of retard on Twitter, he's just like, yeah, actually these people are shit <laughs> for views. Does H3 really need views? He's like multi-million subscriber channel. He makes tens of thousands of dollars a month. I did say that uh, H3 had a, was going to uh, American History X curb stomp Vito into the side. Dude, that can happen. If he's on like an anti-pedo tear and he hears about Vito, dude, that might happen. He might, he might talk shit. And then Vito's like, haha, I'm going to do like a Frank Castle. I'm going to like in real life troll uh, uh, H3H3. And then he goes and finds H3 in real life and H3 just fucking stomps him onto the the, the sidewalk. That could happen. That's, that's, that, is, that is a non-zero chance. That H3, Ethan Klein, will take his boot and stomp Vito to death on the streets of L.A. That could happen in our lifetime. Let's see if it actually happens, chat. <laughs> Inshallah, Vito is kicked in real life. Yeah, no shit. And that's a miracle. Thanks so for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.